The Bernina 880 has an amazing assortment of sewn alphabets and ways to put them into your memory. I'm going to show you a couple tricks of the trade. Of course, you also have your embroidery unit, so embroidering out letters and labels, sentences, names and dates, those can be done very easily in your with your embroidery unit and hooped up. But there's a time and place where you just need to quick stitch it out. You don't need anything fancy, you don't need to have you everything put together and hooped up. So knowing a few things about your lettering and memory can save you a lot of time. So first off, if you're going to do anything in a memory where you're going to combine more than one letter, you will be needing to attach the plus. So if you've ever touched, well, you, most people touch this and don't know what they touched, and you notice that your, your stitch is missing, that means that you've activated the or opened a memory and it's waiting for for the stitch you're gonna put in next. So if you start touching, you're like, why is it not taking my stitch? And you get weird stuff on your screen, it's because you opened up a memory and you just put in three stitches. To remove something you didn't accidentally, uh, you touched accidentally, um, touch the eye, and then touch the trash can until everything has disappeared. To close the memory down, you're gonna use the plus. That's the only thing this does. It's like your door open and a door closed. All right, so we're gonna open the door. We're gonna go over to where our alphabets are, so our A, and you're gonna notice you actually have quite a few choices here. So page one and page two of alphabets. Of course, page two doesn't look very um, American alphabet, if that was the one you're looking for. But watch this. In our Stitching Cosmos online course, we do talk about sewing out all your decorative stitches. Um, do note that some of these non-traditional alphabets actually could be decorative stitches of their own. So if you are looking for this, you can have some fun here. Let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. Um, I might not open up the memory when I'm doing this. I might just choose the alphabet bet, choose one of these stitches and then find what it looks like as a repeat. I remember one of my students did this and I kind of looked at that stitch and I looked at it and I'm like, what did you stitch? What did you do to that stitch? She goes, oh, it was one of the foreign alphabets that I went, oh my gosh, it, it was fun. She didn't like variegated threads. So if you are interested in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course, definitely check out the links below this YouTube video. Okay, so back to like, let's do normal things here. We're going to come back to our alphabets on page one. So our traditional alphabets, we got different font styles and we have a monogram feature. So let me just touch this real quick because when you pick it, you're going to notice it's going to stitch it just one time and you can't see the whole thing. Here is a great place to see what, what it's going to sew. Touch that little function with the two arrows diagonally and it'll open it up and let you see it. Let's zoom out just a little bit and you can see how big that pattern actually is. And you'll find that when we are back at our other page, you see where it's going to start. The little white dot is that it's going to start kind of in this lower loop. So it's going to go ahead and be stitching that way as it goes. Okay, so monograms are there, but do keep in mind that there are three different sizes. So when you touch the eye for information, you can touch this and it will actually give you three sizes of that particular uh, letter. So uh, kind of fun to do at that point. Uh, again, you don't have to do it in memory when you're just doing one repeat, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like. All right, back to the alphabets. Let's do something pretty simple so it makes it easy to see. Of course, you can see that there are nine pages of letters here. Let me show you a little trick. Instead of going and scrolling through all the different um, features, there's numbers, there's punctuation, there's uh, lowercase, there's everything. It's to actually touch this little arrow and pop it out to the side. There's two benefits for this. Number one, you can see more of your functions. Number two, it will spell out without you having to turn your head sideways. So it's gonna kinda of show you right across the top what you've actually touched. You can jump easily to the space, that's the first one here, it looks like a little underscore. Uh, you can pick then, I'm gonna just do DEF, just to show you have uppercase and lowercase all at once. So, but when you do see it um, stitched out, of course it is gonna stitch exactly how it's positioned in relationship to your foot it is gonna sew down 
um, all away like this. So definitely something to think about. Um, is seeing it before you sew it. Now do note that as you sew it, when you get to the last letter of the line, especially if there's a whole combination of words and numbers and such, that is when you're gonna touch your pattern end button. Your pattern end button is the first button in the second row right here um, on your black buttons, a little triangle with the line at the bottom. So you'll activate that right when you get to the last letter and then it will just sew it one time instead of sewing it like you're seeing here where it repeats and repeats. All right, so that's one way to see it. Again, if you wanna delete what you were uh, putting into memory, uh, you can delete it out. You can actually choose a letter or a part, maybe you spelled it wrong, you need to delete it or insert something, you can do just that. Plus for saving it, let's talk about this. I'm gonna just take whatever I've got on screen right now to show you how to save it. Saving happens over here at the heart. So touch the heart, look for the folder that looks like you're gonna put something in it. That's the third one with the arrow pointing down. So here I have already saved one combination from our memory and decorative stitch uh, video we did. So here's what we have. Okay, well, it's not perfect. It's not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Um, I can see what it looks like. It gives me a rendition of what's in the memory, and then I'm going to touch the check mark. So if you're already, if you're always sewing out like the same names, or maybe it's the same year for a date on a label, that might be something that you could save in there. So let's say, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and delete everything out of this min memory, just so it's completely cleared. And I'm gonna get back to where we started. So the little plus will take us out to where we were last. And then that way you can come back. Let's just go back to a straight stitch so you can see we're back to normal. So tomorrow, let's say we wanna retrieve something we've stored in memory. How do we do it? First, you need to touch the plus. The plus opens up the memory. If you don't, you won't be able to find what you're looking for touch the heart and you'll find that the second one has a folder with the arrow coming out of it and the three stacked blocks. That combination will be where you will find all your saved groups of stitches and alphabets. By touching one, you have now retrieved it and it can be edited, it could be sewn, it could be manipulated. So if you wanna add and make that letter bigger or smaller, we do have that feature even with the smaller alphabets, but you can uh, make it any size you want, you can make it longer, you can tweak any alphabet to your liking. So I love that with Bernina, they never tell me I can't do any something <laughs> on this machine. If I want to do something, tweak it, mirror image it, turn it inside out, I practically can. Uh, whether it stitches out to your liking, well, that's up to you. You just have to try it out. But definitely try out putting in some alphabets, combining some letters, and you can combine them with some decorative stitches as well. So anything goes if you can put it into memory. And then don't forget, you can come in here and do other things being able to see what they are looking like or even be able to move them around so they stitch out in different locations.